We as parents have a lot on our minds, from career issues to family issues like aging parents, hockey practice or girl guides. The list is endless. When we slow down just a little and ask ourselves how we are doing as parents, are there any steps we should take to make a better future for our children? One question I get asked a lot. How can I make sure my child isn't a bully? Can you imagine how it would feel knowing that when your child goes to school, they are not bullying other children? Better than that, you know your child is defending other children from being bullied. Yes, this is possible, and yes, it works for aggressive children and the quiet, shy type. Teaching Taekwondo, we dealt with bullying issues all the time. One of the biggest reasons a bully picks on other kids at school is the need for validation. A need to make themselves feel strong or in control. You never see a bully pick on someone bigger than themselves. The bully wants to guarantee success. Giving children the proper validation and channeling their energy into the child's goals will virtually eliminate bullying. This article deals with your child and making sure your child doesn't cross the line into bullying. How we taught our students at the Taekwondo club not to be bullies was very simple. First, we need to do a self-check. How is our modeling going? Are our children watching me rip a strip off the postman? Are we yelling and throwing tantrums ourselves to get what we want? So modeling is a crucial step in how your children will treat others in their social circle. The next step is equal parts self-awareness and empathy. We need to find time to have deep, meaningful conversations with our children. Asking the essential questions such as, what kind of person do you want to be known as, kind and friendly or mean and selfish? Do you want to be a trustworthy friend, someone your friends trust completely? What kind of family do you want, a loving, helpful family or everyone for themselves? There are many more questions we should discuss with our children. Check out the adventures of Wise Owl. For now, if we have a deep conversation with our children, we start to understand their truth. Let me explain a little bit more clearly. Our conversation with our children reveals they want to be a kind person. Now we know what direction we should be heading. Next, ask this question, would this behavior get you closer to your destination? If you were hurting someone or being a bully? You get the point. You are helping your child understand the process. This metaphor is excellent in understanding the direction someone wants to take. You are in San Diego, California, and you want to go to Vancouver, Canada. The roadmap tells you to go north, and you decide to go east. To get to your destination, you will have to do a course correction. Our child has agreed to work on kindness when they get off track and start being mean. As parents, we help them get back on the road to compassion. The reality is it takes work to be kind. As the parent, you will need to go back to the start often and remind the child of their truth. Side note, I have asked this question 1000 times to children, and 100% of the kids want to be kind and helpful. Asking the fundamental question, the answer has to come from your child. Next, as mentioned before, it takes work to be kind. We repeat our message. When your child acts mean to someone, we have an opportunity to calm a child down, look them in the eyes and ask them what their truth is. The child will say I want to be a kind person. As the parent, you can then ask, being mean is that going in the right direction? Understanding this concept is vital. It removes the perceived need for us to yell at our children. Empathy has a role to play in the emotional growth of our children. I like this definition of empathy being able to walk a mile in somebody else's shoes. As we get better at having deep, meaningful conversations, we can start asking our children questions. How would it feel if you were getting bullied? A great time to explore these feelings. Our children start to understand how being kind and working towards kindness is the direction they want to take in their lives. Now we take the conversation to the next level by adding the empathy piece into the equation. The path that our children have decided to take is currently being supported by teaching empathy. Think of it like this, kindness helps us be more empathic, and empathy helps us be kinder.
Getting our children to walk in the shoes of someone being bullied is a good start for explaining empathy. Keep repeating this process you will be amazed at the transformation in your child. Where do we go from here? Please visit the The Adventures of Wise Owl website will help you understand what we are trying to achieve and how we can help children develop emotional intelligence. The Adventures of Wise Owl are a series of bedtime readers that will spark conversation with the desired outcome of developing children's emotional intelligence.